Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ivan, the high handicap golfer. So today we have a club comparison drivers. My current driver ping G425 Max. So I actually play a nine degree, I've got two heads, a nine degree stiff. And this is my 10 and a half degree head. Uh, it's the Max version and it is a stock regular flex 55 gram Alta CV shaft. So. We have got a brand new Wilson Launch Pad 2. This has some draw bias on it. Um, I actually was wanting to do a nine degree stiff test versus my nine degree stiff ping, uh, but they sent me a 10 and a half degree regular flex. So I'm just gonna roll the punches because I've got a 10 and a half degree regular flex. So we're gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna take the plastic off of this. So I got this through Global Golf. They have a you try it program. So for 25 bucks, you can try out a driver, a fairway wood, a hybrid or a wedge for 25 bucks. You return it in two weeks um, and that's pretty much it. If you wanna keep it, you keep it, you play retail value or whatever they're selling it for. So if you guys have seen the club comparison videos before, gener generally I hit 20 shots with each. I'm not gonna show you all 20. I'm just gonna show you, you know, a couple of the better ones and then I'm gonna take out the 10 worst shots and then have a pretty good sample size with the 10 best shots and see what we average with each club and crunch the numbers on the launch monitor and uh, see which one comes out on top or that I like the best. So uh, we'll go with the ping first. Yeah, I, I stopped the recording um, to check something out on the launch monitor and somehow I forgot to hit record again. So I've hit 14 shots, I've got six left. Um, doing okay with the driver, I mean, I like I'm, most of my good shots are going 245, 250-ish. Um, there's one 246, which is a little bit holy, 22 yards to the left. So hopefully we can get these last six shots and get something good on film. So, <laughs> that one wasn't great, but I'm gonna leave it in because the cool thing is, is 0, 0.0 lateral, it is right, it finished right on the line. So, dead straight at least, you know. Carry is 232.4 yards. play. Ready. We'll fade. 232 carry, 254 total. Good ball, down the middle. Carry is 225.2 yards. Ready. Okay. Big pull, 30 yards to the left, but I squared it up pretty well. It felt pretty good. I think that's my highest ball speed, 147, 146.6. With the high spin still. Um, let's move on to the launch pad, Wilson. Got the Wilson launch pad. Um, this does have draw bias. It's got a little offset on it. Quite a bit of offset, actually. This is uh, also 55 grams. It's their stock shaft. <clears throat> And then the Wilson heads are not adjustable on the launch pad, so I don't really know a whole lot about the technology. I'll, I'll post some stuff on the screen. It is a cheaper driver. Uh, I mean, Wilson has obviously been in the golf game for, for years and years and years. And, and I've heard the irons are pretty solid, so I haven't tried them yet, but maybe I'll uh, comment up below if you want me to see if I can get a set of uh, the irons to try out. But yeah, launch pad two, 55 grams, same weight, 10 and a half degree head, same. So. Pretty good comparison here. That first shot felt wildly different. I probably should have hit a couple warm-ups. Okay, I sure hope that's an outlier. Uh, it felt so weird. My club speed was way down too. I think I just, when I got done with my swing, I was like, oh, I'm not used to this. So, see if we can get dialed in here. That felt way better. I was close to the middle there, but still didn't get a great, great ball speed. So it may be that that paint's just hotter off the face, and this is what you get for a budget driver. Carry is two hundred nineteen point five yards. I never hit the ball that high. That's crazy. It carried well, two twenty. I'm not getting getting any of that draw bias. I was like. Pretty far left with, with the ping. The ping is like, it's an adjustable driver. 
but it's just set at the stock settings. The weight's in the middle, on the back, and there's no adjustments done. Definitely felt better with that one. Probably got that ball speed over 140. Smash is okay. So this is weird. I feel like I can't turn this over. I mean, and on the club, it says draw bias. Not for me. All right, let's, uh, we got 12 shots. Let's see if we get, get eight more. See if we can get it in the groove and uh, get some good shots with this Wilson. I tried to get a draw there finally and it drew. <laughs> yeah, it hooked. I'm obviously not finding this the middle of the club face as much either. I'm I'm more on the toe on this one. Uh, maybe that's the swing weight or the, the head weight. I'm, I'm not really sure. Three more shots. Let's make them good ones. I think it's too late to say let's get in the groove. So Let's just finish strong. That felt good. Still, the numbers don't compete with the ping, but that was a good solid drive there. Last shot here for the Wilson. Finish on a high note. Let's pound one out there. Pound town, baby. Come on. Nope. But hey. It's probably fairway. A little slice. Not a terrible one. So let's crunch the numbers, see what we get. Yeah, looking at the averages, you can kind of tell that yeah, the, the Wilson just wasn't quite as long as the G425 Max. It didn't feel as as good either, but um carried 10 yards less and total distance is about uh, 13 yards less um, swung the the ping a little bit faster 98 uh, miles an hour versus 96.5 with the uh, with the Wilson uh, ball speed was a little bit higher as well and this that's you know partially due to that smash factor finding the middle of the face more with the G425 max uh, the spin was a little bit higher with a launch pad like 3200 average and then just under 3000 with the with the ping and angle of attack hitting down on the ball just a touch with the Wilson and then uh, hit up just a, a touch with the G425 Max. So uh, clear cut winner there, ping. Okay, moving on to the dispersion. Uh, the shorter circle, the blue one's the, the Wilson, and the further one is the ping, obviously. Um, ping seemed to favor the left a little bit easier. You know, at first I was hitting all those uh, those fades with the Wilson. You know, later on I kind of figured out they were felt like more like pulls and really uh, draws, but you know, some of that could be just my swing and how I was hitting on the day, but um, it just felt easier to turn over the ping, uh, despite that draw bias. I hope you guys enjoyed the club comparison or driver comparison. It's a clear winner for the ping here. Uh, Wilson's a good driver and, and you know, maybe it's worth a shot for you. I just don't feel like you're going to get the same, uh, distance out of the, the ping, especially if you have a, you know, similar swing speed than I do. And I, I think the ping's just more forgiving. It's easier to, to find the middle than, than the Wilson. So, uh, if you haven't already, please like, and subscribe and we will see you later.